evening and welcome to News 10 on My Fox 10. Last month, the Wabash Valley ranked high on Indiana's list for unemployment. In fact, Sullivan County ranked in the top three. With an election around the corner, we wanted to find out what state lawmakers for Sullivan's district plan to do to change that. News 10's Mac Gregory reports in tonight's Political Watch 10. Tuesday, it's back to school for voters and candidates alike. Uh, here at the Sullivan Middle School to give the public an opportunity to listen to the candidates and mingle with them and talk to them. In a twist, it's well past 3 o'clock when the learning begins. Eyes and ears transfixed on several races and what that means for their future. The state representative, you know, it's a former representative coming back and running, a uh, new candidate for a state here in our county. So those could be a big candidate. They're big races too. In a county hurting for jobs, the race for the 45th district takes on a special note at Tuesday's oh, forum. So we thought we'd bring their job creation plans to you, starting with the incumbent Democrat Bianca Gamble. Look outside the box and see uh, what it is that we can bring into our area. What, what can we capitalize on? Whether it's tourism, whether it's um, health department issues, our, our, our hospitals. Um, just, just look at a, a wide breadth of things so we can stimulate our economy. Across the podium from her, so to speak, Bruce Borders, the former 45th district representative, again running for the position. Is there something we can do there uh, on our unemployment? Um, are, are we basically, you know, hitting employers so hard that, you know, that, that in essence they have trouble hiring people? And so the number one thing is to keep government small enough to where businesses can actually thrive instead of having to, to you know, to basically run a race with lead boots on. The issue of job creation obviously can't be summed up in just a few minutes, but for the folks in the cheap seats waiting for work, they hope whoever is sent to Indianapolis brings back industry to Sullivan County. In Sullivan, Matt Gregory, News 10. Borders lost in the 45th district race to Craig Battles in 2012. Gamble replaced Battles this summer when he resigned.